Alrighty, so I haven't hiked in a really long time and recorded, so I'm doing that today with the dog on Murray Basin Trail. This is called Extreme Tiny or Small Engine Modifications. They're called Extreme for a reason, because <laughs> I was thinking about it, and I'm like, this is unlikely to be things that basically most people will probably ever do, but there's a good reason for that, because you probably don't have a lathe. You probably don't know how to use a hacksaw. You think metal is indestructible when it's not. <laughs> you think it's impossible to weld or ever learn. <laughs> There's no way to ever do anything with an engine because you're too stupid and I go, I'll literally never figure it out apparently. <laughs> As you look at yourself in the mirror and then you look away. <laughs> what is this, me? <laughs> Getting called out here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that aside, jokes aside, it's like these are tiny little like, hey, I got a 49cc, I got a little moped, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's cheap. This guy from wherever the fuck, probably free somewhere as a paperweight, <laughs> some, some fucking place. <laughs> Anyways, I was thinking about it because it's like most of the time they're carbureted. And for good reason because like you're going to spend – Money on like a fucking injector for this? It's like, well, eh, you can get a lot more if you do injection. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh, that's a basic bitch mod. You know, you, you get a tube, drill in the tube, tap in the tube, braze, weld a little bit. <laughs> now you got an injector bung, screw in bung, you know, well, you know, all that, whatever, fuck. <laughs> Here. Here's a fucking fuel injector in it. Here's a, a fuel pump. No big deal, really. Probably get one of those things. Cheap as hell. The problem is, is like they're big. Yeah, you can probably just rip something off some lawnmower or whatever. <laughs> yeah. What you got over there? A dead lawnmower? I'll take this for 20 bucks or some shit. It's probably broken. I'll have to check it. Yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> some yard sale or garage sale or whatever, you know, basic stuff. What is that? A fence post? Some steel tube? <laughs> what is that? A fucking like old drill? Just grind. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> but you know, like pretty cheap it turns out. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm injecting. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, anyways, let me get my fan controller. <laughs> this is my PWM switch from like a little Raspberry Pi or some shit. Goes through like a basic, you know, amplificatory process to this, you know, from this uh, battery and the little tiny, you know, amplifier seat or whatever thing they call it. <laughs> it's just like, it's not, it's an alternator, it's a generator. It amplifies a certain amount of electricity going into the battery. And then it uses some of that. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> words matter, okay? It's true. It's not really amplifying anything. Point is, the circuit will amplify the given signal from the PWM fan that sends it to pulse this amount, this amount of times a second for this duration and so on. So basically, pump goes burr. <laughs> Injector go burr <laughs> this way. You need a little knob on it. Faster, slower, leaner, richer. You know what I mean? So it'll work. But it's like, no, no, no. I got out my 3D printer. No, you didn't. You don't have one. Yeah, you're right. I got some some shears and a crimp. I got this aluminum sheet. And it was pretty cheap, actually. <laughs> Got some rivets and some braze. We got a little tiny torch. <laughs> Anyways, this is my new Ram Air. <laughs> it goes to the engine cowling thing. And I, I just have a little bit of, you know, Ram Air goes into this. You know, I changed the, the shape of the fan blades. So they spin. And then I was all like, but what if I made them bigger? 
and then I put like a big, you know, kind of overhang on that. I had to come out like kind of one side. And, you know, I kind of curved a little. You know, I got it pretty close. You know, decently close. And then I was all like, you know, I'm going to put that into my tube. Galvanized steel. They stuck to my throttle by. <laughs> you know, kind of thing, right? Yeah. Anyways, it has to have a blow-off valve. So it's all like, here. <laughs> this is this little bike you know, the cable I got, it's got a spring on it. And, you know, it's a little sheet of steel. You know, it's like a T pop it valve thingy. You know, <laughs> literally it's, I got an old ass pop it valve. <laughs> In no way, I just got a fucking, a nail. <laughs> it's not even a job. <laughs> got a fucking nail. It's a laughing compound. Worked out. <laughs> Anyways, that goes off to like the other kind of like sheet, you know, aluminum. It goes to the engine cowling, you know, heat sink fin thing. But the most part, it's just cooled by like the onrush of air. So I'll just keep it closed. That way it just goes and flows right into, you know, my intake. Anyways, I was all like, how much... Is you know, those single Ducati, like, little clickety-clackities. <laughs> I, I need the one. <laughs> I need the one, though. <laughs> yeah, how much are they? <laughs> yeah, oh, they're actually not that expensive. I can get two of those. <laughs> off of this fucker who crashed it. Oh, yeah! Axel, axel, axel. Got my new valve for my header from this dude. <laughs> but I'm not sure how this is going to work. Turns out, you know, there's this, this like, you know, kind of, you know, like a recess hole drill thingy. It's going to, and I kind of got it there. And then I got it like to like the point where it was like, Dremel and lapping compound and seal and test and all that. Got it done with the exhaust valve too. They're bigger and meaner. You know, fucking flow better. I looked up like how to port things. I don't think I did a good job, but you know, fucking first time, right? <laughs> Try my best. It was all like, exhaust needs to be bigger, so slightly bigger. Right, from the tube they originally had to, you know, bend like another fucking... Stupid steel thingy <laughs> found somewhere. Squish it a little. <laughs> Get it close. <laughs> it's good. It's good enough, honestly. It, it's within spec. It's slightly under, so I just kind of, you know, in, in the inside, dremel it out. <laughs> Anyways, and it's like, all right, it, it's gonna widen like a two-stroke. Yeah, I want to test my fabricating skills. Here's the. It's a scouch. It's a smidge. It's a little tiny amount. So I found this glass pack resonator. Some guy who told his little fucking car. And my little, I mean, big fucking massive huge thing. Anyways, big engine that guy has. I don't have anything like that. <laughs> so I was all like, you know, I'll just, you know, stick this somehow on. It sounds atrocious. The sound, <laughs> the sound is terrible. <laughs> like genuinely garbage. <laughs> so anyways, I was all like, all right. I, well, you know, since I have to fucking take this apart anyways. <laughs> Turns out, there's this stupid piece to get rid of the governor. <laughs> fucking... No longer have that issue. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna drill out. Saying, it's a little hemispherical now for the head. Yeah, I'm gonna get in there, do it up, anyways. So, continuing on, right? All right, I got rid of the governor. I got the, yeah, it's a little wider. It's tapering slightly, not much though. 
it's got little holes that will go into this glass bag. <laughs> you know, the center and then the outsides go into this. I had to do the whole little finagling <laughs> of insert and you know, clamp and seal and bolts and all this crap. <laughs> that way, technically speaking, it flows roughly about the same. <laughs> Except not totally. Because I was all like, well, I got some some basic bitch steel tubes. <laughs> I have to learn how to actually weld one day. <laughs> so I'm going to do that on this fat guy they found. <laughs> so goes off to the tip. The tip kind of flares out a little bit. The center tip is more like a coney kind of shape where it starts off kind of this size, you know, smaller. It's kind of pointy on the inside. It flares out and it then has these four, you know, kind of spots that widen, you know, go back towards where the, you know, the exhaust is, a little, you know, kind of cone kind of shape, like the, the funnel, now red video. <laughs> The dome, and then it goes to the center. <laughs> the small nozzle point. <laughs> Anyways, whole thing, not that far. <laughs> but, you know, it goes towards that. Yeah, but the rest of it, of course, is wider, right? And, and flows nicely. And so a little bit of that exhaust gets recaptured towards the, the oncoming exhaust. Makes it finally go back to baritone. <laughs> Which is good. You don't want that. So it sounds atrocious. Still, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot better actually without that. But like a little bit of that, <laughs> a little. Anyways, as I go to my 15,000 RPM now, <laughs> my 49 CC, I'm pumping fuel in here. <laughs> I got fucking pressure. Let me tell you, you know, bumping up that, you know, a little gas a little bit. <laughs> got the different gear venerator uh, meanwhile thank you for finally putting a muffler on that fucking piece of shit get a fucking motorcycle why don't you <laughs> extreme modifications not appreciated <laughs> Not appreciated in the slightest. Who would have thought, right? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, normal stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's a big... Like, no, no, it's a sports bike package. You don't understand. <laughs> big fucking side... You know, gills over here. <laughs> Just sucking in the air. <laughs> ramming it in. Go! <laughs> Anyways, real cheap stuff. Will work, by the way. <laughs> but it's like, eh, you know, to each their own. Just a little, just a smidge. It's like, well, what happens when it backs into the ram? I was like, oh, all right, you yeah, know, this is where the, the, the aluminum sheet is kind of shaped like a bit of like a cone, <laughs> which is pretty easy to do. I just found like some fucking you know, round object, and I kind of beat it over that and bent it a little bit. <laughs> you know, got there eventually. <laughs> uh, which is my helmet and, like, a pad, <laughs> basically. <laughs> you know, anyways, uh, some brazing and some fucking, like, you know, rivets kind of thing later to make sure it holds it. It gets squeezed in. Has these little places where it's connected, <laughs> then like it expands into the area behind it. You know, the little bump from the the flutter, right? It'll go hit that and reflect backwards. Sound really cool. <laughs> Got my air intake right there. Big chunker <laughs> from a truck. Yeah, they always seem to be fucking breaking these bro trucks. I'm like, what's that air filter worth? <laughs> Fucking 50 bucks. Uh, how about 20? <laughs> it's dusty and it's old. I see a crack right there. <laughs> Did you crash this? <laughs> Meanwhile, 20 bucks later, big fucking honking. <laughs> air filter. <laughs> 
Oh, look at me. Proud owner here. <laughs> I'm a big air filter. <laughs> Anyways, it goes Bree really fast. Bree! <laughs> hey, extreme modifications, you know, with yours truly, Xenon you know, Reality. <laughs> I am talking about that, but hey, this is, these are genuinely extreme modifications. Like, you know, there's a little bit of fabrication. It's not actually that hard, but it's, at the same time, a little bit, yeah. It's like, no, no, this Seder, this is when, this is the top, it's, that's when it's supposed to, fu fuck that shit. <laughs> no, 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 I changed that. I moved it over a little bit, advanced the timing, just a, a scotch, and then, I, like, I play with the little, the, this little knob here <laughs> to change when it actually engages, <laughs> like, this fast or this amount of delay. Yeah, I got my little distributor, basically. <laughs> it's literally what a distributor is. It's not even a joke. It's like it goes a little bit closer to this contact point or a little bit further away. It has this little bit increase or this de <laughs> duration of the spark. It's all it is. Literally, that's what a distributor is. Meanwhile, it goes to a coil pack. Hey, delay this amount. <laughs> yeah, a little, little fucking analog signal. <laughs> Dump it like this, you know, <laughs> store it like that. A little capacitor and some coils and shit. Zap. <laughs> Next thing you know, I've got a distributor for my 49cc. <laughs> Fucking advancing timing, delaying timing. <laughs> Depending on the RPM it's measuring over here. Say, like, where'd you get a measurement? I stuck a piece of tape, and then I got this fucking RPM measure. <laughs> Not even a joke. I did. <laughs> Anyways. It works though. It's working. It's working just fine. <laughs> uh, perfect though. So it knows the, the RPM now pretty quickly. And then just send that into a nice little Raspberry Pi open source software, you know, online, Drino kind of thing. Next thing you know, it's like, oh, yeah, no, that's pretty easy. <laughs> Change it a little. It's like, I got roughly these parameters of duration and lift. And valve timing, you know, <laughs> it's no real advancing this. I mean, it does kind of slightly advance, and yeah, not much. It's never living in a place where I can give two craps about it. <laughs> it's like, yes, my 5,000 RPM idle speed. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Go up to 15K. <laughs> it's having a great old time over here. It was never meant for this. I don't disagree. I didn't say it was. <laughs> I don't. Well, meanwhile, later on, the gasket, I got the multi layer steel, you know, business in on that. It's like, no, it'll survive somehow. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm doing the oil squirters. You know, it's, it's like a dry sump, but it's not really. <laughs> it's supposed to splash. It is. It's just electric. <laughs> Squirt, bitch! Get in there! <laughs> Fucking... Uh, why is it having problems? <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> never meant for 15K. <laughs> it's never meant for this. I gotta let you know, man. It was never meant for... <laughs> You have positive pressure in this fucker. <laughs> Are you venting? Oh, yeah, no, I'm venting. That's fine. You know. Got a little, there's a little filter. It's fucking overkill as fuck for this little valve cover. <laughs> Same thing with my, oh, yeah, look at my oil. Look at, oh, yeah. Look at my, my case, positive case spin pressure. My coat, it's a literal, you know, oil catch can over here. I'm so cool. It's like 49cc oil catch can. Tiny little fucking thing. Having a blast with it, you know. I'm going for it. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do it up. Is there any extra? I'm gonna turn this into a high performance 49cc. This is this is what it is. 49cc high performance, baby. <laughs> Anyways, boom, boom, boom. 20 fucking horsepower if I'm lucky. <laughs> fucking getting there. <laughs> And it's like, no, 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 I want more. You know, I heard this thing about double injection. 
after top dead center, you know, I have a, I have a camshaft here. What's that diesel doing over there? No! I've got a mechanical injector. It's electromechanical, you know what I mean? A little fuel rail, whatever. It's no biggie. Anyways, squirt, squirt. But you know, two double pumps right in there after top dead center after it burns. <laughs> Meanwhile, I thought there were issues. Oh, yeah, well, we're running pretty lean now. <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> I can tell you about this lean problem that is definitely not occurring anymore. <laughs> Could probably run it just fine without this. <laughs> This thing likes to squirt. Let me tell you, it's at the bottom. Of the th it's a whole thing, man. <laughs> squirt, 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 squirt every time. <laughs> Squirts it in. Lots of squirting. <laughs> Anyways, good old, it's a diesel, I swear. <laughs> My gasoline I'm pouring at the 83. <laughs> you know, cheap ass fuck. <laughs> Gas. <laughs> <laughs> still works though still working because it's already burnt because I got the spark ignition so it'll work <laughs> super leaned out the only reason why I know that is because I finally bought an O2 sensor with some uh, some of this fucker <laughs> how hot are you how much extra oxygen do I got bitch give it to me give it to me straight <laughs> tell me your secrets <laughs> I need to know, where am I not burning, how lean am I? <laughs> Anyways, what do you know, I'm running pretty lean. <laughs> yeah, turns out, when you're going pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm going 65, I'm going 49 cc. <laughs> Whee! I've got the RAM here. I'm sure the positive pressure displacement supercharger is doing all this work. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was a oof, big boy supercharger over here. <laughs> Love it, though, because it's like, oh, I have to do this curve in a little bit. I do a little bit of, you know, this and some rivet there and, you know, balance a little, you know, that kind of. I mean, it's plastic, basically, but it's like, you know, if I can lean, if I, if I get and rivet a little, a little. Gray, you know, like, welder, I'm not, you know, with the grindy, <laughs> some sands. <laughs> Anyways, it's, it's working though, it's sealed, it's doing the brewer the correct way. <laughs> it's not, you know, anything other than a one to one. <laughs> so, but it has a, it's, it's a ram here, I, you know, it's ram here. So it's working, <laughs> it's working. It, I don't see the problem, except my engine does. <laughs> Finally, they were going back to the actual problem. <laughs> my engine was like, no, no, it's cool. Where'd you get this oil squirter? <laughs> it's, not technically oil. it's not technically an oil squirter. <laughs> it's not really, <laughs> it's not really technically supposed to be that. Yeah. It's a, an actual pump, a little pump that I just, you know, turn on <laughs> every so often. Thing squirts through this little fucking you know, nozzle. <laughs> Squirt, get in there, bitch. Cool off the fucking skirts, bitch. Cool. <laughs> fucking cool off. Do it. Anyways, fun times, right? But it's like, all right, it's cooled. <laughs> so cooled. Got no fucking at all. Chill. Where's my where's my air to air? Where's my water to air? Where's any of the intercoolers? Where are they? They don't exist, sir. Fucking damn it. Yeah, that makes sense, especially when I have a, a damn charger, supercharger. What are you chewing on? Oh, you're not supposed to eat that. Get out of there. Phaser, jeez. Got some dead animal bones. I have to worry about some fucking disease now. He's got... Uh, good thing I can give him this, this good medicine. My parents, you know, graciously were nice enough to give me money to ultimately pay for him to have this medicine for hookworms and 
fleas and ticks and you know the heartworm too so yeah there you go but still though anyways so it's like all right it needs to be cooled it's like well you know i thought it was cooling it enough maybe more fins maybe more longer amounts of, maybe more area surface you know maybe Meanwhile, as long and this short of that story turns into, yeah, but you know what? I, 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 sounded like it might be something. And it's not, though. Turns into, shockingly, out of nowhere, a bunch of water down a rail as it spreads over to the other side. As I, I, you know, I needed to get some... <laughs> So it's aluminum, so it's aluminum. It's fine, it's fine, it's, fine. it's no big deal. <laughs> they clamp them down, and, you know, get the get the little like little freaking bolt stud thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just some tubes. I stuck between the thing. It's small, <laughs> good enough though. It's bolted. <laughs> you know, it's stick on there. You know, it's strong again. It's like this doesn't seem like it's gonna. This is a real thin amount of fucking material now. <laughs> I don't like this. There's positive pressure. Getting out this like fucking kit for like grinding, which is literally just I got a Dremel. <laughs> I'm getting out my my fucking 49 cc. <sighs> oh god, piston ring, you know, standard stuff. <laughs> getting out, you know, I, I need to really kind of like move the piston ring around <laughs> this real nice and and slow. Get it like a a fourth. <laughs> Or whatever, you know, kind of like piston ring. <laughs> They're gonna, gonna get the, you know, opposing piston rings, gap them the right way. What's the pressure that's going in? Found some PSI gauge from Home Depot. <laughs> Stuck it in there. <laughs> so it's right by the, the nail. <laughs> yeah, it's really there's only a couple places to put this. <laughs> so. This is about as good as it's going to get. I mean, you know, that's right where the, all the pressure would really kind of technically be. <laughs> Anyways, turns out yeah, it's not. The freaking throttle body is like a big deal. I didn't make that bigger. <laughs> I need more air. <laughs> well, what is that, a car? Oh, yeah, give me that bitch. <laughs> what is this fucking honk of belugas? <laughs> the size of this and then drop down some PSI. Oh yeah. I don't want that to be that big. What is this? Some freaking multiple. There's three, these 120 millimeters. They're actually 80. But I got a 120 millimeter housing around it. Yeah, you know, computer fan cooler. It's liquid. Uh, it's right there. Fucking Right in the freaking fork. <laughs> like, this is where my water cooling is. <laughs> this is where it is. Guys, I got water cooling. Look, at it's the, running out the same fucking pump. <laughs> this is my freaking stove. God, I can't. <laughs> like, I gotta, I gotta run this somehow. <laughs> it's gotta get so. <laughs> I got this one. You know, the 11, fucking 12, whatever, stator, freaking, you know, alternator thingy. Stator, alternator, depends. Is it a scooter? <laughs> Anyways. I stacked the other one on top of that. That was a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, two of them, you know. Fucking ripped off one of the coils, put a, the other coil on it, so it's a full fucking actual alternator. <laughs> I don't need that other timing thing. Get out of here. Fuck off. I just need more power. I'm going to make the power back. I'm going to make it back. Anyways. Got it done. It was working. Yeah. Where the fuck? Oh, yeah. So see this pump? It's a real small pump. Uh, you know, it's sealed. It's got some epoxy, got some rubber, fucking cement bullshit. You know, it's got some gasket material over here. 
You know, it's sealed. I don't care what anyone says. Get out of here. Yeah. It's holding pressure. There's no leaks. It's all I give a fuck about. Fuck the leaks. Anyways, fine with it. Right? It's working. Pressure. I don't think that's right. There's no fucking way that's 15. There's no... <laughs> There's no fucking way. 65 mile an hour. Fucking beach ball size, it feels like. <laughs> size air intakes into my fucking compressor. <laughs> my supercharger. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think there might be a reason for that. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> Anyways. I'm not sure if that one is. Not really, you know. There's no way I'm getting it. So readjust that, put it towards like where the actual, after the throttle body is. Because that's the right way to do it, actually. <laughs> you know, so it's like, all right, fine. <laughs> Get it over by the throttle body. You know, I will after. Right? Turns out, manifold's all like, yo, I'm like fucking 10. <laughs> Still too high. <laughs> Still way too high. <laughs> way too high. <laughs> this is an insane amount of actual PSI. Like, genuinely. Meanwhile, I'm looking at my fucking charger. Oh, that explains why some of that thing. Especially with the air intake fucking bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. 65 on the highway. You know, I'm looking at the O2 sensor. Seems good. <laughs> the cooling is surviving. <laughs> It's surviving, guys. You know, I've got the liquid. It's, it's, it's behind the water. You know, 420 in the front. For my water, switched it out immediately. 420 in the rear for my fucking engine cooler. Yeah, it's not going to survive that. <laughs> That's, a, by the way, three 140 millimeters. Just FYI. So, and it's like, no, nah. but it's like, it's a one, two forty, you know, in the front from your water, <laughs> which brought temps down before, like well in excess of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now it's like, no, nah. they're sitting pretty only about 10, 15 degrees above ambient. Fuck. I'll take that, man. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> resonator pipe madness. Oh my goodness. Razor, come on. Where'd he go? Yeah, he likes to disappear on me. There he is. <laughs> come on, go <Come> back. <laughs> Anyways, a nice little jank setup that outperforms the vast majority of people. <laughs> Look at me. Got big Ram Air, you know, intake ideas. Got my fucking supercharger. Yeah, it's basically my fucking previous hand. <laughs> I have to, like, make sure to manually... No, no, switch to cooling the engine, please. Please. <laughs> That's my blow-up valve. Meanwhile, it's it's always tripped the same way. Or it's like, oh, it's like, you know, it's like, and... Oh, it's now spinning down. It's like, yeah, but... Yeah, idle maybe. <laughs> you know, I've got cooling. You know what I mean? So now it's like, actually, instead of the RPM, it's now an actual pressure thing. <laughs> That's right. Shockingly. <laughs> this is an espresso rate spring, you know, spring, right? Espresso spring for their overpressure valve or something. And I'm like, well, <laughs> there's a way to do this. Here's the way. I'll just get like the right spring, you know. Next thing you know, it's good. <laughs> Does the right PSI. I don't really ever have to worry until it overpressures itself. And uh, it's good. Yeah, it works out. It's just fine. Meanwhile, yeah, fucking get it to 18K. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> we gotta get to 18 <laughs> Meanwhile, 18K is achieved. Yeah! <laughs> It's achieved because Ducati 
Screw your valve float. Yeah! <laughs> Anyways, totally worth the fucking effort and hassle because it's just like, I'm just going to loft this off and go into an actual fucking real engine for a motorcycle. <laughs> Let me just go do that real quick. <laughs> Guess what? I have a real engine now. I have a real motorcycle. I got more than enough power over here. Those things bang. I'm getting 20 horses. No problem. Every day. You know, actually, truthfully, I never did measure that for what it is worth. <laughs> yeah. Like, for what it's worth, it's, it's all very dependent on actual, like, you know the amount of fuel used I mean the PSI, what's your altitude lots of stuff like that You know, and then it's like well what's your drivetrain loss too and then it turns into like well are you at like a standstill or are you at like 65 miles an hour because massive difference of PSI is like that's 10 versus this is like 3 to 7 maybe you know what I mean like, if I'm lucky, it gets up to the 18K. It's like, oh, it'll do 18K all day once you go up there and speed. Because, oh, well, you know, it's got the power for it. <laughs> you know, versus, man, it sure don't that easily. It takes a while to get there. <laughs> anyway, I got one pump running my, <laughs> my water cooling for my air and my water cooling for my engine, which... Yeah, it's a good thing I know how to braise. <laughs> Considering I trembled pretty hard into that fucker. <laughs> you yeah, get in there. <laughs> it's still strong. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Meanwhile, I would never ride this bomb of a contraption. <laughs> I don't care about you and your, you know, very legitimate, totally valid, scary, you know, feelings about how safe this might be. And, you know, I, I can't deny that your thing is legitimate and valid. It, it might not be very safe. <laughs> it's cold adequately. Yeah, you know, it's adequately cold. Yeah, you know, it's it's cold. <laughs> it's strong enough to survive. I, you know, I got all the the gapped brings, got the, the the vent case thing. You know, got the multi-layer steel. <sighs> right, I'm double squirting in there with my mechanical injector, <laughs> fucking diesel <laughs> to get like a rocker arm kind of business coming. Squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> that fucking bitch over there with the Ducati and it's basically the same thing. <laughs> it's like over here a little bit on this side of, of the like little camshaft and over here a little bit on this side and the cam and squeeze 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 bitch <laughs> squeeze yeah fuck <laughs> meanwhile of course it all happens faster which is one of the main issues so right like it's the duration, hopefully. You know, as it, they had to spread, because it's mostly in the upper, you know, <laughs> RPM anyway is the vast majority of the time doing anything. So, yeah, gonna move that a little bit as uh, that's the RPM thingy. It basically, you know, moves it forward a little. <laughs> One of the little thingies, you know, so it does the squeeze, squeeze, squirt, squirt at the right time. <laughs> But turns out that's fine. If you run lean, it's burning anyways. Burns twice afterwards. It's more than enough time to still have it double shot into it. It's been done before. Water methanol is basically the same thing. But, you know, like this is a mechanical version. <laughs> right? And it puts a lot more torque down. I'll tell you what. <laughs> it really gives her the old means, I'll tell you. Yeah, the crankshaft, yeah, that's what it is, really. Surviving, yeah, I don't know for how long. It was never really meant for this kind of RPM, you know, for what it's worth. It's like, well, you know, I'm a, 
try and get some like, you know, is there ceramic maybe? <laughs> Looking online. Is there something powder coaty I could do? <laughs> Engine break it in kind of thing, oil stuff. <laughs> There's something I can do here. <laughs> yeah, maybe get like a really str- that man. They don't make like little tiny singles. Ah, eh, I'll just get like a. That's big though. I don't really want that size. <laughs> you know what's the size of 49cc scale? Yeah, that's basically what this would be. <laughs> you know, they, hey, Phaser, get out of there. No, come back here. Stop eating that. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna like basically break. <laughs> Phaser! Come here. Come here. Hey. Give me a second. I'm going to pause this. I'm trying to read that fucker. I had to grab it. It's trying to swallow that fucker. Some leg of some kind of bone. <laughs> Disgusting. This boop is snoot pretty hard that time. <laughs> Needs to know not to do that. That's for sure. Ugh, then I'll wash my hands when we get home. Anyways, but you know, I was like, all right, well, there's got to be a way to do, get like a forged, you know, like steel, you know, kind of like crank, whittle it down or get it pretty close and then whittle it down or some shit. Or, you know, pretty close, just cut it off. <laughs> you know, you get one of the other things welded on perhaps maybe. Yeah, you know, turns out they do actually make hardened steel. Uh, it's, it's for like industrial applications. It's not for 49cc. Pretty close though. A little balancing later. A little polishing for way too long. Later. Next thing you know, shocker, it fits, it works, it's great. It's like, what are these? You know, they used to be uh, you know, slightly larger heads, pissing heads, that is. <laughs> Anyways, whittled down, you know, properly honed, you know, real smooth, the right bore. <laughs> you know, it's basically the same thing again. <laughs> the piston rods. It's like, no, 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 you can't do that. Meanwhile, Alex Steele, fucking hell yeah. Bang, 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 bitch of Rudy's. I got it. I know how to fucking quench. I know I can buy this fucking thing on Amazon. It gets it to the right temperature. I quench this fucker. I temper this fucker. You know, I get the going. Yeah, I get the. the, You know, the Dremel. I get it there, it's the fucking right size and everything. Good to go, no issues. The fucking piston, you know, wrist pin, it's good. I'll probably handle it. <laughs> Decently strong bearing, get new seals. I'm gonna get a better crankcase. Like, how do I do this? Just welding thicker sheet steel, basically. <laughs> It's really plate more than anything at that point. <laughs> yeah. Together. Found out. Oh, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, no, okay. Some better, stronger studs, you know. Higher grade steel. <laughs> Fucking bolt this fucker in. Get a slightly better, you know, torque. You know, higher torque. Pound feet. Basic stuff. You know, soup it up a little bit. Right, and uh, hey, well, you know, it's working. It's working, yeah. It's working out, uh, except for the fucking goddamn aluminum. <laughs> like, how hard is it to bore out this fucker? <laughs> Straight enough for me. <laughs> Meanwhile, well, how hard is it to get hardened steel to, like, basically bore through aluminum? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out not that difficult. Uh, like, actually. Really, it's more about the straightness and like holding it the right way. <laughs> so there's that, but eh, doable. Make the hardened steel, carve it through, grind off the top, grind off the bottom. <laughs> and I've got a nice little steel tube in there. It's the right size. <laughs> you know, hone it a little bit. You know, I go to some place, they're like, yeah, I got you. 
They're like, oh, it's pretty close. And they get it right into the right spec. I'm like, can you balance it too? It's really fucking cheap because it's a 49cc. <laughs> like, really cheap. I'm like, all right, you'll do it. Bye. Whee! It's fucking definitely going for you know it's got the sleeved aluminum it's got a bottom crank you know it's got the like the girdle crank <laughs> to hold my fucking you know i can squirter the oil variety it's holding it stiff and it's got some nice strong plate so i had to grind the shit out of that uh that aluminum head so it was like oh i might as well just fucking get some actual steel plate here squish <laughs> but you know works out perfect it's great it's nice and strong that's what you want you know 18k rpm 65 miles an hour because I don't go over speed limit and also these venerators will fucking die are you insane <laughs> I'm like fucking pouring air into this thing. <laughs> Try and get it to cool. cool down, bitch! Cool off! Uh, I'm looking for a tiny little motorcycle engine, fucking, you know, separate, like, you know, fucking transmissions from back in the day. <laughs> Turns out they exist. <laughs> yeah, what's so bad about this? Actually, you know what I mean? <laughs> Free! <laughs> I'm getting up there. I got different gears I can manually change now. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. We're going to go the distance for the speed record here. I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. Yeah, I never did it. I don't really care. It was a daily commuter, really, honestly. <laughs> I don't really care. Screw this shit. Like, I'm going to spend all this money on this. I'm not going to go for the record. Someone else beat me anyways. He got like 140 miles an hour and some 49cc bullshit. <laughs> I'm just happy I even have this. <laughs> Fucking jeez. They're like, nitromethane. <laughs> Pure oxygen. <laughs> I've got fucking like tungsten iron fucking hardened steel bullshit over here fucking all this crap <laughs> going for pressures i'm gonna put in the pressure it's to start it with another motor who fucking started the <laughs> 10k pre starts off there <laughs> it's got a fucking turbo super turbo on it this motherfucker <laughs> It's like, no, no, because otherwise it's basically no need. Oh, well, you know, I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> you know, it needs own, I suppose. I thought I did pretty well. No, we like what you did. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, so, this guy over here. I mean, they're a built shop for what it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. Anyways, but, you know, I'm just going for it, you know, doing my thing, you know, having fun. <laughs> You know, pouring in oil with my oil squirt. <laughs> I'm going to drain back, you know, from my, my head so that way everything's lubricated. It's cooled enough. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's got to be done. It's got the oil cooling. It's got the liquid cooling. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? Why do you have oil cooling? Oh, yeah, it's in the rear now. <laughs> I have to do it. It's actually just from some old, you know, uh, refrigerator. <laughs> it's a, some tube <laughs> it's a little pump that's all it is pulse through every something <laughs> my little transmission never meant for this no no you don't I don't care <laughs> shut up over there <laughs> running away <laughs> got a little cooler on my little transmission <laughs> it will be cool this will be cool <laughs> meanwhile it's just in my like little you know, uh, oil reservoir basically, because it's not really a dry sump, but like it has to be fed with oil, so it's kind of like a dry sump because <laughs> it has oil there, but like it picks it up a little bit. So it's a it is a dry sump, but like it's not really because you know it's it's an electric oil pump. 
really realistically. <laughs> cool is my transmission. Yeah. <laughs> it was never meant for this. Meanwhile, you know, the gears are, are your hardened gears. <laughs> you know, they're, they're the right size. You know, from you know the smaller to a larger gear, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, like everything seems okay. <laughs> it seems like it's the right kind of, you know, within its operating RPM range. Seems good. <laughs> it's got a nice little clutchies, you know, a little clutch clutch. <laughs> and uh, that was pretty easy because they come with them, so. <laughs> So it's a 49cc. It's only ever meant for like pulleys. How did you know this? Oh, all right. Yes. No. Uh, so I did the bangity bang and brr 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 and then stickity stick and then squish squish squish. <laughs> because I have the crank, you know, and the pan and then like different seals. <laughs> it has to be hardened for that. It has to also have like all the oil that goes through it. You know, it has to travel a lot faster. It has. <laughs> Near the RPM of the crank, so like it's it's strengthened to be able to handle it basically. <laughs> Anyways, good old you know clutchy clutches, <laughs> doing its job, doing clutch stuff. <laughs> you know coming in clutch for me all the time. You know five v one clutches it out like nothing. Headshot, 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 fucking headshot. <laughs> Fucking with the ulti. <laughs> Fucking get ulti. Get ulti. Clutch. Bringing back the old CS. You know, fucking strike lingo in here. <laughs> Anyways, fun stuff for what it's worth. <laughs> Can't do what they do, you know, because they have big gears and all that. <laughs> Meanwhile, I get good efficiency. It's a daily commuter, and it sounds good. <laughs> Which isn't really what it sounds like. It's more like a... More like that. Because, you know, that's the, the blow-through kind of thing. And then it pressurizes and goes... Like that. Real low, baritone, kind of screechy kind of sound. Anyways. Yeah, real good kind of sound, like a... It doesn't matter. Anyways, point is, you know, do it yourself. You'll figure it out. You know, somehow, some way. <laughs> Anyways, it'll be fine. It's going to be great. You know, there's extreme tiny engine mods. You know, nor everybody does them. <laughs> like, everybody knows that Dremels and some, some, some fucking, you know, made <laughs> vice grip kind of like holdy things with the Dremel or the spinny, like not really a lathe, but it's within the tolerance that I need and I can actually get it finished by others, you know, or it's more than good enough. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, works out. Brr, goes the fucking stinking goddamn thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, you should touch it on a dyno. I'm like, I don't want to really... Do that! Oh no! I'll do it for free, says this person. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You know, I need to get out the fans. Let me bring over the fans and this ducting. <laughs> it really won't survive for very long at that. It's a whole thing because it's supposed to have air, even if it has liquid cooling. <laughs> so it's a whole thing. <laughs> Anyways, free! <laughs> I'm getting 65 miles an hour winds right into this tiny little fucking thing. <laughs> How did you do that? I have like four fans, some ducting, some like air gap in between. <laughs> goes into the cooler and the rest of it just goes right into the funnel for the ram air. From bigger to smaller, fasty, find the airy, the accelerational stuff. <laughs> yeah, good old speedometer thingy thing <laughs> whatever that you know window meter thing stuff <laughs> anyway it's close you know 
Uh, so, turns out it's about 40 fucking ridiculous amounts. <laughs> yeah, but about my butt. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, no, you're being modest. 47 fucking horsepower over here, this guy. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm trying. You get that 50 one day. <laughs> fucking 50 horsey powers. Fucking stupid 18K. <laughs> with some pulse with modulation. Fan control injector shit. <laughs> and double pump injectors and all the rest of the four-stroke weirdisms that that is at that point. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> Anyways, it objectively weighs more. Just objectively, it does. <laughs> there's no, there's no getting around the fact that it definitely weighs more. <laughs> it's also fucking hardened, like piston head and connecting rods and fucking crankshaft and like a plate, fucking you know, like all the things. Is effectively <laughs> the only thing left at this point is essentially. A you know valve you know like head thing that I clamped to the fucking steel you know plate and then like <laughs> effectively that's about it besides the the cylinder <laughs> that's around the actual like hardened steel <laughs> cylinder I'm using <laughs> like what else is left? Nothing basically. I got rid of the carburetor. I got rid of like there's a fuel pump now. <laughs> like everything pretty much changed. <laughs> what is left? You know, I mean, I've got an aluminum. Not even supposed to be a thing. Like I don't even know how the hell this works for what's worth. <laughs> Probably just go buy an actual steel fucking <laughs> you know compressor. <laughs> and just stick it on there. Get like a a basic larger to a smaller. You know, I think it'd be better, but. It's surviving, you know. It's got a fatigue limit. It's eventually going to die, but like right now, it's working. So, yeah, that's what that would be. It will eventually die, but uh, it's not yet. So, until then. <laughs> Meanwhile, getting out the Dremel. You know, no, oh, I didn't know anything about this thing. That was a prop. Look away. I'm getting my new compressor soon, bitches! <laughs> Wee! Still got the galvanized fucking fence post steel fucking ridiculousness. <laughs> and all the rest of it. It's like eventually it will no longer be jank. I guarantee this one day the change will occur. Never happens. Still got the fucking like brand new compressor eventually in the future. <laughs> It does better. It's more efficient. It's genuinely, yeah. It's like it's bigger, so it spins like less fast. But it is uh, stainless steel, yeah, because it's that was expensive. Holy fuck! Are you insane? <laughs> Holy fuck! This fucker. Uh, yeah, there's less likely amounts of this stupid thing called rust. Which, you know, bad. Don't want that. Aluminum spin not, you know, well at high RPM. <laughs> like bend and break. Hardened stainless steel work best. Proceed use hardened stainless steel. <laughs> My Dremel. <laughs> I never did anything after that. <laughs> Took forever. <laughs> took genuinely forever <laughs> it was the worst <laughs> this diamond fucking dremel fucking bit <laughs> get in there this fucking damn it <laughs> give me my more compressies <laughs> do it <laughs> I need a better gear <laughs> everything is way worse this costs more than, like, basically most of everything I just did. This one stupid block. <laughs> this is insane. What the fuck is this? Anyways. Got it done. It was fine. 
probably just buy like a cheap ass one. It would work better <laughs> instead of making my own. It would have literally been cheaper to do that. <laughs> like literally. Meanwhile, yeah, well, whatever. I'll just get some stainless steel sheet. <laughs> Fucking cobble it together some weld stuff. I do weld this. Yeah. <laughs> Difficultly. <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> I had to go find some of those women to let me use their TIG welder. I'll get there. It's gonna get there. Anyways, works out. Nice, you know, fucking amount of compression, seal, it's good flow. I had a whole design for the housing. You know, so that way I can basically get like four spots, you know, like like little V's from that outwards and then combine them into one <laughs> kind of like actual area. So that way it'd be a four into one. But like that's for mostly high flow rate because like it's basically just a big ram air. <laughs> that really did all of the extra pressure I was seeing. And it's like, no, now this is. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'd rather not that though. <laughs> It'd be a good idea if that wasn't the case. <laughs> be a real good idea if that was, turns out, not the right. Yeah, it didn't do that. <laughs> turns out, no, you're wrong, dick. Yeah, you are right about that, turns out. <laughs> it goes real fast. Real. Too high RPM. This is stupid. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get this fucker with this electric motor to spin up. <laughs> uh, I'm going to get some gearing here from this big torquey thing to this smaller, small, small gear thing. <laughs> this will fucking get it done. <laughs> Which, you know, what it is, right? <laughs> Anyways, got there. Took for fucking ever. <laughs> Like finally works way more pressure way low down you know it's immediately like 10 psi just like ah no we need to gear the fuck out of that down please <laughs> and bigger gears now all of a sudden it's like yes thank you five psi goes up to 10 like easily all day no fucking problem uh, my ram here. Do you understand? Use more fuel. <laughs> Fine. Go back to the original gear. But Phaser, come here. Come here. Come on. The dog just slipped underneath the fucking fence. This dumb motherfucker. So, anyway, he's got him back. He's on the leash. He's going to go in his trailer. <laughs> I have to bike my ass home. And my knees are killing me. And bending is really hard. <laughs> this is not great. Honestly, this is going to cost me like several fucking damn weeks, probably. <laughs> So that's going to be something I have to deal with. Sweet. Anyways. Uh, yeah, no. You know, higher PSI. Meanwhile, the answer was no. No. 15's max always. Like, never do more than that. Compression ratio finally actually tested. <laughs> it was working before. I didn't need to. Meanwhile, anyone with, like, any kind of sense. Um, what now? Really? Are you sure about that? Well, it was working before, and it didn't have any knock issues. That's, you know, kind of besides the point a little bit there, dude. Says the mechanic, machine shop guy. I mean, I'll have to agree. Just get high rock pain. Come on! I don't want to. Seems really bad and dangerous. Seems really not great, truthfully. I'm just saying, you know. Oh God! Ow! 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 God damn! Ow! Anyways. Yeah, no, mostly because it was like meant to just be like a basic bitch, you know, sort of. Look at what I did, and I just had fun and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, so it's not, it's not really meant for that. You know, it's like all of a sudden I'm paying for premium fucking fuel just so, that, you know, 
I can ride my like basic kind of you know moped mod <laughs> thing that I've just done. Also, I can run higher, you know, <laughs> boost. Say like, this is stupid. What did I do to myself here? This is dumb. <laughs> should should change this just a little, just a smidge. So yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. Well, these were aerodynamically inefficient anyways. <laughs> I don't need them. Come on, man. Really? <laughs> right? Yeah. The answer's always the same. Yeah, but, you know. No, do it. Come on. Do <laughs> the answer's always still the same. I don't want to. <laughs> You're not the one that has to foot this fucking bill, bitch. <laughs> it's always the same fucking answer. <laughs> They never care, it seems like. <laughs> Anyways, I have to now bike, so there'll be that. Uh, let me see here. Right, the basic you know, thing was, right, I'm going to port this and get much, much bigger uh, you know, air intake manifold thing, drop down pressure, basically, uh, by making it much larger. <laughs> That's literally what I did. I immediately just got a big old fucking tube, and uh, I dropped from 15 to uh, five, basically, <laughs> with a huge, massive fucking tube <laughs> to fill. And it has, like, a little check valve thing. So that way, it, like, it just stays in there and it'll vent off from there. <laughs> so, anyways, massive, huge airflow. Uh, ports, basically, just a ginormous, like, velocity stack into this thing. <laughs> just big honker of a horn. And same thing with the exhaust, too. Uh, and that was the end of it, because it then finally got back up to, like, like you know, 15 fucking PSI. And with the double injector, it was just barely able to make it work. But that's only because of, like, how outright fast the RPM was, because I could dump enough fuel in to make that work. <laughs> so it was just lots of injector timing before, uh, you know, and... It, it opened for the valve, so it would cool off that area and, and, and be less likely to have any uh, you know, uh, knock. So knock didn't occur, which is nice. At least I never had it happen. But, you know, I'm sure someone would out there. <laughs> but, like, everything's as cool as it can get. But, yeah, it worked. Worked really well. Looks a lot better now, too. <laughs> Got to keep my big old things. Anyways, and there you go. That's a extreme small engine mods with yours truly, Xenon Reality. Please like and subscribe and have a good day. Bye.